Yes, indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back with more Dragon Quest. This is part 14. And last I remember, well, let's just say it got a bit rough. Yes, I know. But if you're, if anyone's going to be asking, let's just say that I took the liberty to grind a lot. Because the game kind of honestly kicked my butt. Especially with what happened with the Arachnagon. Jesus. I got whooped hard. I got whooped real freaking hard. I'll be damned if I didn't want to have to resort to starting all over again just to prove a point. But yeah, our next mission remains pretty clear. We need to head for the ruins of Dundrasil. And I grinded so much that I need to upgrade all my gear. Thankfully, Eric now has the ability to wield two weapons. As for the rest of our crew, well, we're doing pretty fine for ourselves. Well, may as well give her the prayer ring while we're at it. Yeah, there's no excuse. I'm actually going to go back and finish this. There's like a lot to do and I still have to continue Fire Emblem. Yeah, we're now in the region of Dundrasil. And yeah, do you want to know how many hours I spend grinding just to make sure I reach there? Having to take down Metal Slimes too. There was also that. I had to take down tons of these Metal Slimes because yeah, the Metal Slash is the only weapon effective. But the problem is that these guys are annoying to deal with. Annoying is an understatement. And yeah, I realized to myself, if I'm going to survive the rest of the journey, the least I could do is get strong. Because that would be the only alternative. And there's no excuse. I really need to go back to finishing what I missed. Okay, so our next stop takes us to Dundrasil. So it looks like the long road is not going to be a pretty one. And checking the map, that's actually proof enough. Jeez Louise. And yeah, and as you know, I've already finished games like Persona 5 Royal, Cyber Shadow. I still have to finish Fire Emblem. Once I get that finished, then I'm actually going to move on to either... The Binding Blade, Genealogy of the Holy War, or what else? I don't know what else. Yeah, there's too much to decide, you know? Yep, this is it. The Ruins of Dundrasil. And these ruins don't play around, either. Yep, it says so on the map. Let's check it out. Man. So this is Dundrasil. I'd heard the rumors about what happened here, but still, I never expected this. To think that not so very long ago, this was one of the world's great cities, and that it was reduced to rubble in a single night. The king and queen murdered by monsters. The princess of Heliodor too. The poor thing was only visiting. Oh, but I don't need to tell you this. They were your parents after all. So where's the old guy from the tournament, anyway? And why'd he drag us all the way out here? <gasps> Look! Those torches are lit! He must be in there somewhere, waiting for us! Yep, this city's a mess. But there are monsters everywhere. A green dragon. And thankfully, this gives me a good excuse to use Dragon Slash. Uh, 
Yep, that extra damage. And yeah, all that training I did. How the hell? That's not gonna cut it. Whoa. Yeah, you attacks twice. Make that three times. Isn't that a bit much? These dragons do not play around. Yeah, so much for the dragon. Mm. Huh? A slime? Well, let's see where this leads us. So we're inside the well of the Dundrasaur agent. Hmm. There's a ladder. Or oh, rather, that's rope. There he is! Why did you bring us all the way out here? <laughs> so you made it at last! Is it just you? Where's your friend, the girl? Hmm. She has duties to attend to. She'll be glad you came, though, as am I. It's not like we had much choice. Now, where's the rainbow? We need it. Oh, you do, do you? I suppose that's because your pal here's the luminary. <gasps> Wait. How could you... I thought you died years back, laddie. When I saw that mark in your hand at the tournament, my heart skipped more than a few beats, let me tell you. Now, come along. There's something I want to show you, if you'll indulge an old man for a wee while. What is all this about? Well, we can always find out. Aye, this place brings back some memories, sure enough. Look, are you going to tell us who you are or what? I'd already given up most of my duties by then. I spent most of my days in the city enjoying my retirement. Oh, we had us some fun. <laughs> and then the monsters came, and I lost everything. When I was your age, laddie, this was one of the finest cities you could ever hope to see. And look at it now. One night. That's all it took them to tear it all apart. Ugh. Just listen to me blethering on. I, I was going to show you something, wasn't I? Come on! Mm -hmm. 
Is this... somebody's grave? Aye. This is where the King and Queen of Dundrasil are buried. <gasps> you mean... This is your parents' grave, laddie. The grave of my daughter and son-in-law. Wait, but that would mean... you're his grandfather. These two fine young souls died, and I survived. I came to believe there must have been a reason for that. That someone had a purpose in mind for me. So I set out to learn why Dundrasil was destroyed. I've been on the road ever since. I've uncovered some of the truth on my travels. It was King Carnelian, you see. He... changed. He once believed in the power of the Luminary more than any of us. But he became convinced that you were evil. That you were the Darkspawn. Ah... He's not a man I knew any longer. Folks say he blames you for everything, even the death of his daughter. How could you, old friend? There's something behind it all. The fall of Dundrasil, the change in my old comrade. I promise you, I will find out the truth! Your boy. He wasn't lost to us after all. <laughs> You're alive, laddie. Against all the odds and and now you're home. You've no idea how many times I've dreamed of this day. Will you humour an old man a while longer? There's an old royal ritual, you see. It's to send the souls of the departed to a better place. I'd like you to help me perform it. There's an altar up in the hill behind the castle. I'll be waiting for you there. Jeez, Rob. I feel for you, man. And I feel for Eleven, too. Losing his parents. And after having learned the truth, my God. I just... Oh. Hey, TikTok. Anyway, let's keep moving. Man, Dragon Quest XI doesn't play around. Only I can still find a copy of Six when I have it a break bank. That's what I'm actually missing, though, along with, I believe, 9. I have 1, 2, 3 on my Switch, but I wish the Switch got 4, 5, and 6. I'd buy those in a heartbeat. But Square Enix, for whatever reason, decides not to jump the gun. Why won't they?
Everything's ready. Thank you, Princess. It looks just perfect. Wait, you don't mean... If the rest of you wouldn't mind standing back here with me, only members of the Dracilian royal family may perform the ritual. How come he called you princess? Are you? Quiet now. The ritual is about to begin. You just follow my lead. All right, laddie. The souls of those who depart this life must all return to Yggdrasil. One life for each leaf of the great world tree. But those taken by monsters cannot return of their own accord. So our ancestors devised a ritual to send them on their way. The smoke guides them back to where they belong. The Yggdrasil's bosom. Each butterfly is a lost soul, and now they can all be at peace. Die in vain, Eleanor. He saved your boy and the princess. It was a noble sacrifice you made. Thank you, my beautiful girl. And goodbye. I hope you don't mind me asking, but your mother didn't leave you anything, did she? So this letter's why you went to see King Carnelian, eh? Oh, if only she'd known. I'm sorry, laddie, you've been through so much. But I suppose if you'd not set out for Heliodor, the journey would never have led you to me, eh? Oh, Eleanor. Sorry, Laria. I'm going to need to be alone for a wee while. <sighs> Let's leave the altar. I honestly have nothing to say on this. Nothing. What more can I say? Lady Elena. <gasps> Who's there?
You weren't supposed to see that. I was just thinking about Lady Eleanor. I... I mean, your mother. Why don't we take a little walk? My mother was a rather sickly soul, by all accounts. She died not long after I was born. So in a sense, Lady Eleanor was the only real mother I ever knew. She used to read me stories, take me flower picking. I loved her so much. You can imagine how happy I was when I heard she was having a baby. I couldn't wait to meet my little brother. You know, it was raining like this the last time I ever saw her. I can't believe how much time has passed since then. Hmm? Wait, up there! <sighs> Something tells me they're looking for you and your friends. And there's only one kingdom that can send that many soldiers out on a manhunt. Heliodor. Come on. We need to get back to the others. Hmm. How do they find us? Heliodor is persistent in trying to get us. By whatever means. Well, guess what? We're not going to leave without a fight. Where are the ones from the altar? No sign of them. What about the Darkspawn? No sign of him either. Blast! They must have got away. It, it's him! <gasps> He's over here! The Dark Spawn is over here! God damn it! Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> what shall we do with the girl? Sir Hendrik's orders were to bring the Dark Spawn back alive. He never said anything about anyone foolish enough to side with him. Just you try it. Oh, no. I can't be expected to take her on alone. Sir Hendrick! Sir Hendrick! Come on. We'll head around the mountain and meet up with the others before he gets back. Damn it! We need to move now! I have you at last, Darkspawn! There is nowhere left to run. You're right? <sighs> You are a slippery one, I will give you that. I had not thought you would make it this far after I picked up your scent in Octagonia. Men, the Darkspawn is mine. Deal with the girl. Forward! This is all the dreaded child of darkness can muster. Pathetic. You will evade me 
no longer Darkspawn. The chase ends here. You dare! Princess Jade? Surely not. You go again. Now what happened? Jade! Oh good, you're awake. <laughs> I'm soaked through. Let's get warmed up, shall we? I... I'm glad I caught you. I couldn't have forgiven myself if... if it happened again. I suppose Rab must have told you about your mother, that she sacrificed herself to save you and the Princess of Heliodor. Well, you've probably worked it out for yourself already, but... I was that princess. Your mother saved my life. That night, the night Dundrasil fell, we ran from the castle, but the monsters were too fast. She handed you to me and distracted them for long enough for us to get away. She died to save us. But even though she trusted me with you, I... I was too weak and stupid to... I fell in the river and... I let you go. I can't tell you how many times I've wished that it was you Rab fished out of there and not me. After he found me, we headed back to Heliodor. We thought my father might help us to find you. But when we got there, we found out he was telling people I'd been killed by the Luminary. He was trying to make people believe awful things about you. Rab was convinced that he wasn't in his right mind, that someone must be controlling him. So we set out together to find out who and why. I never expected to see Hendrik again, let alone on the battlefield. We were lucky to get out of there alive. like the rain's dying down. We should head back to Dundrasil. Thank goodness for that. But man, this was just a shock. 
finding out that the princess did survive. And suddenly she hasn't joined our party yet. And to think that Hendrik knew Jade really tells you something's up. <laughs> So I was right. I had suspected it would take more than a mere fall to put pay to the dark spawn. Sir Hendrik? Can it really have been so many years since that fateful night, Princess? To see you alive and well, you cannot imagine how much this pleases me. But... Should you choose to continue to side with the Child of Darkness, you may not live for much longer! Look, I know how you feel about duty, Hendrik. How could I forget? You don't understand how important this is. Please, you have to let us go! You would ask a sworn knight of Heliodor to disobey the orders of his king? You have been away from home too long, girl. Not long enough for the years to have changed you. Still loyal to a fault. I wish it didn't have to come to this. But it has. Princess. The spirited young girl of old has grown into quite the warrior maiden. Oh, please. I'm not a child anymore. It'll take more than a pat on the head to distract me. What will it take to convince you that I am deadly serious? That if you stand on the side of the Darkspawn, I will have no choice but to destroy you! Patrick! Princess! I'm sorry. Now hold on tight. Princess, what have you become? She's good. <laughs> Okay, so now that we're back, we now need to get meeting up with the others. Even they're worried. Oh, look! There you both are. And in one piece, too. Just about. No thanks to Hendrik and his men. So it was old Hendrik, was it? I thought it might be. I would have liked a wee word with the rascal, but... I doubt he'd have told us much. Well, if even he's out for your blood, the forces of evil must have a stronger hold in Heliodor than ever. It wouldn't be the first time a one's glorious kingdom had been brought low by monstrous powers, you know. Many, many years ago, a dastardly fiend destroyed an entire empire with his wicked ways. A legendary evil named... Mordegan. His story is all but forgotten these days. I had to tramp halfway around the world just to learn his name. But the more I find out about him, the more I'm convinced 
He's the one behind all this. Dundrasil, the troubles in Heliodor, everything. Which is why you're gonna have to stop him, laddie. The fate of the whole world depends on it. You're the luminary after all. You were born to defeat the Dark One. But you'd be more than foolish to face him unprepared. He's a master of darkness, the like of which the world has never seen. Then we must make our way to Yggdrasil as soon as we can. The legends of Arborea tell of a means of fighting the darkness that can only be found there. Veronica, that must be why we're supposed to take him there, mustn't it? Here you are, laddie. It's yours at last. You'll be needing it if you're to make your way to the World Tree. If anyone can get this old stick to show us the way, it's you. Lead on, Luminary. We receive the rainbow. Finally. Well, can you see anything? a dud. If that Noah sent us in a wild goose chase, I'll throttle him. He could have told us it didn't work before we wasted a zillion hours chasing it halfway across the world. No, no, let's not jump to conclusions. Why don't Jade and I join you and we'll see if we can't make our way a bit closer to Yggdrasil and try again. We'll not give you any bother, I promise. And now we have two new party members joining us, Rab and Jade. Who'd have thought these two would actually be more connected when we realize? Looks like our party has now raised to seven. Now our objective is to search for the, search the world for a way to get to Yggdrasil. But also the fact that, yes, we have our new party members. We have Rab, who has a cane with him. And Jade, she packs a blade. In terms of character building, yeah, this is Jade's. She has access to claws, spears, fisticuffs, and a lure and allure is helpful, while Rob specializes in heavy wands, claws, and enlightenment. And enlightenment's actually interesting, because she can he can be able to boost strength and might. And right as rain, which basically serves as regen. On the other side, he has here, with repeller blade. Yeah, basically he's like a sage. That's insane. And this one unlocks the caster sugar, slightly increases the effectiveness of the user spells. And you're probably gonna need all of it, mind you. Let's focus on getting these in. Besides, you can customize your characters however you want. And yeah, she's not afraid to get her hands dirty with her fists. No, well, I'm actually pretty serious with that. Thunder Thrust? It better not be FF9's version of Thunder Slash, or rather DQ11. And what is this unlocks? Pep chance. That's pretty fair. Yeah, but getting this actually is gonna help us out. That's insane. 
boosting resilience. Yeah, let's get ourselves pepped up then. While the others, they still have a ways to go. Attack power while wielding swords. Check. to do. Well, we can actually now make him a thief for once. Nice! It unlocks a new pep power. Itemized kill. What a thunk. Got a ways to go, though. Very good. So, Fondo. Yeah, it's going to be a while for you. All right, now it's time to get ourselves going. But we don't even know where to start. Huh? Hey, the branch, it's... Darlings, did you see it? It was so pretty. A sort of platform floating in the sky and six colored orbs. <gasps> oh! I think I understand. We need to find the orbs and take them to the platform and then the path to Yggdrasil will appear. Maybe trekking halfway around the world to find that branch wasn't such a waste of time after all. And we've already got one of the orbs we need, too. I knew swiping this thing from the castle was the best idea I ever had. I had my own plans for it. But this is way more important. It's yours now. Just don't lose it, okay? Noted. We received the red orb. Our prize from the tournament. Lucky we didn't sell it in the end, eh? Aye. And there I was all set to swap it for a few piffling trinkets for the road. It's yours now, though, laddie. And we get the yellow orb. That makes two. Now, it looked like that platform we saw was located right under Yggdrasil. That means it must be somewhere deep inside the first forest. So, we know where we have to go. We just need to find the other four orbs first. But where in the world would we even begin to look? Orbs, orbs. Oh, I do remember a fairy tale about a giant pearl sinking to the bottom of the ocean. Can't remember the details, though. 
Well, if we don't have any real clues, I guess we'll just have to head out into the world and find some. Uh, you're not wrong there. In which case, let's head for Puerto Valor. We can get out into the open ocean from there. It's off to the northwest of Gondolia. A fairly straightforward voyage, if you ask me. And you'll be pleased to hear that I'm friends with Don Rodrigo, the big man over that way. I'm sure he'll open the sea gates for us. Hmm. Hmm? Right then, let's get moving, shall we? The sooner we get our hands on those orbs, the sooner we can make our way up to Yggdrasil. I agree. We means we must board the Swalti Stallion and south southwest from Dungrasil to the coast of Valor. That's fair. But I think it's time we fix up our lineup. Eric, Veronica, it's time we let Rab and Jade have their chance to shine. And plus, we get to see how they perform. Let's demonstrate! A lot of monsters at our disposal. Yeah, this will help us out. Thank God for cattle fraud. Yeah, let's take our tactics. Yeah, let's put them at follow orders. All right. Yeah, that's better. Yep, we got the hit. That was beautiful. Still, I can't believe I was able to get Thunder Thrust working. Order for defeating a hundred different monster species. And yeah, you wonder why I had to grind so much just to survive, right? Let's bring on a zap. He's got access to a lot of magic. And stay down. Stay down, it suits ya. You do not want to mess with me today. I'm in no mood to fight. Though I will have to grind up just to make sure they're strong enough. Yeah, I had to have overdone my leveling just to survive. Sheesh. Huh? What was that? At least we took down the Aractagon. Huh? Really? All right, we got a daily dose of superior medicine. Yep, we need to head back to our boat. Nice, more pocket change. And it's raining, not good.
Let's go, Sword Slash. Oh, now you run away. What a wuss. See what I mean? That deals with you. Hmm. We gotta move quickly. While avoiding the poison. Almost there. That should hopefully lead us to our next stop. And hopefully to the end of this part, of course. Yeah, I'm happy to be doing this again. But I also need to finish Fire Emblem 1, which I will. Are you alright? There's the boat. All right, back to the stallion. Yep, this means we have to head south. Fine by us. Huh? Oh goody, enemies to deal with, ain't that nice. Fine, time to go for a big bang. Surrender your soul! And that takes care of that. May heaven's winds propel thee hence! Not effective. Oh, you like to sap, huh? Eat this, Merman. Ah, not bad at all. Yes, indeed. All right. Should arrive at our next stop soon enough. Ah yes, men of war. They look like squid jellies or something. Take this. Nice, you have to spike it literally. Now burn. Never in doubt. Always never in doubt, you know? Pretty good. There it is. We disembarked on the coast of Valor.
Yeah, we should reach straight ahead. There's the port. But something about Sovando seems very off. Well, let's find out. Okay, darlings, I'll see you when you're finished here in town. I need to go and see a man about a... Ciao for now! What came over him all of a sudden? Don Rodrigo lives in that grand old place over yonder. Let's go and say hello, shall we? Oh, and, uh... Don't go mentioning my royal past, will you? There's no point in causing a fuss. As far as he's concerned, I'm just his old pal, Rab. Let's keep it that way, all right? He makes a good point. But at least this gives me a good opportunity to grind up and whatnot. Yeah, this is where we're gonna end here. We've seen a lot, and my god, there are no words. So yeah, that is going to be it for this part of Dragon Quest XI-S. If you enjoyed, hit the like button. It means a lot to me. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and click the bell. All of it helps out. Truly, it does. And don't worry. I will return back to this. I promise. I mean it. This is Mega Man NG signing off. Peace out. The journey has only just begun.